WK is creating a crack that may consume PDP in South South and Southeast zones. A wonderful welcome to every one of you that is joining us again. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us on Peak Media, where we bring you nothing but authentic, authentic news happenings around the country. If you are joining us for the first time, please do well to subscribe to our channel and please give us a thumbs up. And to all our Ogbonge correct existing viewers, please do well to always give us a thumbs up on all our posts as they come your way. Thank you very much and God bless you. Now today we are bringing you another story from um, the PDP um, stable. You know, there has been a lot of um, fracas here and there with um, Wiki and his camp asking for the resignation of the chairman and also with the fracas that has been going on with um, Wiki and the um, presidential aspirant of the PDP. Now, this news is saying Wiki is creating a crack that may consume PDP in the South South and South East zones. Now, now let's let's go into the details of this news and let's what let, let's see what he says. Now, this news says the People's Democratic Party's PDP grip on the South South and South East geopolitical zones of Nigeria may come to an end in 2023, if the current impasse with Governor Ye Somwike and his group is not resolved amicably hmm. it says recall that the pdp has not lost the presidential election in the zones since the return of democracy in 1999 in the 2015 and 2019 general elections despite the fact that the all progressives congress PDP presidential candidate Muhammadu Buhari won the election. The party APC did not score winning votes in both Southeast and South South states, as PDP won in all the 11 states of the region, which is an indication of the party's invisibility in both regions. But observers say, that the unity that made PDP invisible in river states may have been broken. Although Wiki has continued to say that he is not leaving the party, his activities and body language show otherwise. Some of his loyalists who tried to break away and have started having clandestine meetings with Atiku in Abuja have moved him to draw a battle line with them, calling them traitors. Wiki has also replaced the party's leaders in the local government areas. There is sharp division between Wiki and those loyal to Atiku. Some PDP elders are no longer with Wiki. Consequently, the chances of PDP dominating the polls in River State is in doubt. If true reconciliation is not made before the elections, some reverse PDP leaders that are left that have left Wiki are Lee Mihaba, Celestine Omeha, Austin Opara, Chinyene Igwe and Abi Sekibo. Speaking with Business Day on the PDP crisis yeah. and 2023, Emeka Uche, a political analyst and social commentator, observed that intrigues or certainty, intimidation, subtlety, arm twisting, cunning, presenting the mode of weakness to spring a surprise, lies and going for the juggler of opponents so as to get their tickets are certain in politics. According to him, you don't discount a heavy war chest in the form of funds 
and I mean raw cash. Yes, some wiki has all this, but unfortunately, his political brakemanship is not deft enough, or rather, he is not that kind of politician that knows how to deploy these resources cunningly for effective results. He further said that Wiki was creating a big crack in PDP, if not for any reason, to show the party how relevant he is and that they can really not do without him. And he wants to do the damage right from inside for maximum impact. Unfortunately for Wiki, he will create a formidable enemy for himself, and this will be in the future, Uche said. Since Wiki is likely to remain in the party, he will succeed in turning himself to a sesa fly, perching on the scrotum. Here, killing the fly will result in monumental injury and allowing it remain lots of blood through socks, he said. He observed that expelling Wiki from the party will drain membership because those who are sympathetic to him and those who feed from him will stage a workout and it will affect the fortunes of PDP. And that is what they will not try at this time, that elections are just at the corner. If you take a careful scrutiny of recent events in River State, one will appreciate this given that Wiki is stylishly reconciling with Chibuike and Michi of the APC and dealing deadly blow on Celestine Omeha of the PDP. Wiki is beginning to act like a loose cannon and this could be dangerous for PDP and Atiku is not helping matters. Atiku is at a fix now. Not really sure that dispensing with the service of the man, are you, the PDP chairman who assisted him to the ticket, will be in his best interest. If he articled should cotto to Wiki, it simply means that it has been rendered impotent because Wiki will be controlling from the remotes. PDP on our own is trying to avoid serious tsunami defections that is likely to follow in the event of the crack becoming uncontrollable. The ox in the form of APC and Labour Party are hovering around. One question we need to ask ourselves is why Yes Son Wiki be, is behaving this way. Yes Son Wiki is presently suffering from post traumatic syndrome. He counted so much on his party to deliver the ticket to him, having manipulated them into throwing open the door and not respecting the Southeast that has remained loyal to the party since 1999, and this proved is albatross he betrayed his brothers from that region including playing a lot of dirty politics to deny them which would have given the southeast fairness according to him atiku used wiki's manipulative politics and upstaged him with his brothers from the north not reckoning that a powerful horse in the southeast waiting in the wings and calmly jumping before he was disgraced from the inglorious actions of monkey come chop banana, which is shaking the table. In a nutshell, PDP is in a fix, allowing Adolphus Wabara, who was disgraced out of the Senate as president, to become acting chairman, board of trustees of the party, was a mistake on its own. Especially now that Wiki has revealed how the table was shifted by monumental bribery allegations against RU and the panicky ways members are declaring how much they received. The party is on the cross right now, but time will tell how they intend to restore confidence in the country should they be returned to power, which I see as a huge tax. I believe that the solution to the problem to do a serious overhauling of the party, restore confidence and take a critical look at the internal democracy and governance, he said. Allowing members' opinion to count will do a lot of good to them, and de-emphasizing money as a determinant of who gets what. Meritocracy should be enthroned. Godfatherism should be killed. One should be elected based on the ability to mobilize men and materials. Deployment of materials usefully and effectively and for results and recognizing long service, loyalty to the party against an individual. 
election of men with clear vision of what a political party should, especially in the area of training, for effective results as it is done in decent climes, he further said. Observers generally believe that what is happening in the PDP is good for the Nigerian polity. PDP should embark on serious reconciliation with aggrieved members not paying leave services. Uche, however, noted that some states in the South South and South East would at least give PDP 25% votes at the polls. And that is it on this story. Thank you for joining us on Peak Media. So we'll come your way once again. Bye-bye.